What's up? What's up? What's up? Whatever Martin was talking about. You know what I'm about, though. It's MG the Future. Thank you for joining me on my channel today. If you're catching this on the replay, go you. Today is Tuesday, July 26, 2022. Today I'm dropping Arrangement Artillery 12 Arrangement Guides and Project Files for your favorite dolls. Studio One, Ableton Live, FL Studio. And it's going to help you crank out some hits, hopefully break some beat block. You know what I'm about. But in the meantime, let's get the libations going. Starting with a nice selection by Amir Obey, Drugs and Camera, produced by Niles. Let's go. While you at it, drop a like, subscribe, share a video with your moms, and shout out to Navarre Bennett. I'll see you straight out of camera, brother. Mid games in the building, let's go. Yeah. Got no friends to lose. I ain't got no guns to cruise. I, I just no. got some shit to move. I shut that. By the time I do, they go. And I get them put it all along and rap for you. Hope you hate to suck a dick and die right. fucking to no new city, no view. Would it be like fuck? Like a go. Ain't no drop a like. Thank right. you. Going it, going Come at for me, it, so hey, drop like a like for me, like come for boy, boy. boy. This we gon' make it feel Say that ain't for me right here, boy. I've been been at the bend, screaming free, my niggas made a scene. I'm just trying to chill out, make me sick tripping. Like, what you doing still out? So that ace to the face, to my hold of the mercy, and got straight to the chase. If wifey call on my curb, shorty fall on my hurdle. I catch bodies, no feelings. She drinking the pain away, smoke this for the healing. Oh, hey, 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 hey. My smoke for my killer. Can't smoke for the killer. I need smoke, yeah. Can't smoke for the killer. I, 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 I don't smoke with some killers. Smoke this for the healing, no. What's good, everybody? A little golf clap, a little jazz, jazz clap. Woo! No better way to know if you got cavities than to bite into a goddamn Mentos. But anyway, my name is MG The Future. Thank you for joining me on my channel today, you lovely, beautiful people. At least most of you. Some of you ugly. You look like your mama's son, but that's okay. <laughs> Life is all about novelty. Use it to your advantage. Now we have... Mr. LeVar Bennett coming in at first. Med game. Shogun, the super mod. He will slice you and dice you. Act up if you want to, bot boy. C Fig, it says you're early, huh? Nah. Am I early? I'm not really early. Where you been? B Boy's in the building. Christos says, MG, what's good, bro? What's good with you, Christos? Everything good in the hood as long as my internet connection stay good. I don't know why uh, OBS is talking about goddamn red light, blue light, like. I'm in goddamn Raleigh, North Carolina. The hell? Okay, I'm back. What's good, though? Oh, no. I mean, shit. This arrangement pack is good. Speaking of, mgthefuture.com, Arrangement Artillery, Volume 1, is now available. Go ahead and check that out. I'm actually going to show you how to make your own arrangement guide or template in this particular video. It's something I did a couple years ago, actually, uh, with the Atlantic Music Hit Formula video. I've done this before on Twitch as well. But this product is just me thinking, hey, I kept saying to myself, one day I need to just make an arrangement of the new songs, especially the ones that I like. <laughs> That's harder to find than the damn arrangement. I don't know. 
Is it a Mentos or a goddamn now later? God damn. But anyway. <laughs> Pause. But anyway. These arrangement guides, I actually made a couple for me. Then I was like, people asked me for this already. Let me just go ahead and make it available. Then I committed to doing like 12 of them. Because I thought it was just going to be a walk in the park. Because my ears are really fucking good. I can hear all the shit that's happening and not happening. You'll see when you open up the arrangement files. You're like, God damn. Hopefully it helps a lot of people who are probably more intermediate to see things that way. I'll show you. It'll make sense in a minute. But yeah. Then when I did them, it was like, yo, this shit actually takes all fucking day. Then my dumb ass said, yo, let me make it in three dollars. The f what the hell would I do that for? That shit took, it took longer to copy the arrangement. So, you know, I did it in Fruity Loops first because that's the one I'm fastest in. So listening to the song and isolating all the musical parts and how long they were, pause. That took a while. So you take the song and you multiply it by four. So like 12, 15 minutes, right? Copying that bitch into Ableton Live? Jesus Christ, Ableton Live. Oh my God, that, is, that, was, that was some painful shit. Then Studio One. Studio One is a little bit easier because it automatically names the mixers or the events and shit. Ableton does not. I feel like... I had one project in that motherfucker. I had 16 tracks. I had to name that bitch 32 times. 48. Something like It was ridiculous. How many times do I have to type organ? But I did this for you. A labor of love, if it will. Arrangement artillery volume. You'll see. This shit's, this shit's fire. Back to the chat. Shanann Band says, Sup, sup. Rashane McBean's in the building. I see you, Rashane. A Maverick says, What up? C Fix says, When are you doing another live at night? Uh-huh. Sometime, anytime actually, uh, I'm going to be away, I'm going to be AFK, <laughs> going away from the keyboard, so I'm probably going to try to do a, a, a YouTube from my phone again, in a very familiar place where I would have done a YouTube like that, hopefully, fingers crossed. Nah, I want to do that one at nighttime though. Hmm. Hmm. I want to give a special shout out to the brother Victor, too. Victor gave me, like, a crazy donation the other day. And his message in the donation, the PayPal donation, was something to the effect of, like, appreciate what you do. We need another 3 a.m. So I already know my mind is aligned to do that for Vic, for giving me a donation, which I appreciate greatly. And then tie that into your request, which is, when am I going to go live at night? So I'm probably going to do a nighttime 3 a.m. stream. Sometime this goddamn week, but it's going to be for my phone because I already told you I'm going to be AFK. I don't know. There's a lot. There's a lot I could document. I don't know how much of the shit that I'm about to get into that I want to put on my YouTube channel, though. It's kind of weird, but whatever. We'll see. See, fix sometime in the next couple of days, bro. It's Tuesday tonight. You know, hmm. tonight wouldn't it be that night. Sometime between. God damn it. I get back to you, see, fix. You'll know it. I'm going to use the YouTube community post thing and post a dumbass picture of me smiling asking you guys what time I should go live we'll do it like everybody else is doing it damn it DJ V Live says hey MG what's good with you V Live Bartron the Blue Flame coming as soon as I park later today I appreciate you brother thank you as always for your support Jayon baby's in the building Ellis 716 what's good what's good B-Boy's in the building Jayon says the best day ever hey 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 humble I got to stay humble so humble V Live says I'm definitely grabbing that too. I appreciate it. Criso says I just got it. I appreciate you, Criso. I did get a an alert to my friend. Ayo Kikondo says Ayo Ayo to you, Kikondo. Do, 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 do. I am sorry. I did not create templates for reason, logic, or machine. I will do better as I get more properly staffed. Probably by next year. Yo, this project took a, lo a lot of fucking time. <laughs> Because it took so long, the songs that I transcribed are stuck in my head. Like, I really like Wait For You Now. I despise that song. I fucking despise that song. You know, not really. I didn't despise it, but it didn't, it didn't catch on when it caught on for everybody else. Then I had to loop that bitch 122 times to figure out the difference between the vocal sample and Tim's filtered out hook. Don't worry. I figured it out. And um, this is chord change it does. I don't know. I should have. I should have. Um. I should have melodyned it. 
That because that, that chord progression got going chord book, fam. That chord progression, it does this thing, uh this passing chord. It's real it's real trippy. It was real trippy. I never heard a I never heard a, a quote unquote rap or trap song use that style of uh melodic guitars. And it's becoming a thing now. Remember the um nineteen nineties, mid nineties, late nineties, we had the Spanish guitar craze. So you know within the trap world, because like artists such as Juice World, rest in peace, and brothers like that. You know, they're doing the acoustic guitar and flute thing or the acoustic punk rock, you know, emo guitar type of thing. But now the guitars are becoming black. <laughs> I'm always going to use colorable, colorable language to describe that because there's no better way than to describe it. It's a very black R&B guitar style of chord. And I keep hearing it. So, of course, that was one example. And the other example is this African artist, shouts to the brother Burner Boy. And he took Tony Braxton's wasn't man enough for me from I believe that was Dark Child that did that back in those chord triton fucking horrible electric arp sitar guitar patches and shit oh my god but Rodney killed that shit um the brothers that Swiss used to work with his keyboardist at the time at the same time period they was killing that Spanish guitar shit I know we're not allowed to say it but motherfucking R. Kelly yo fuck all that other shit that y'all want <laughs> fuck all that other shit y'all want me to be on but R. Kelly's sound selection, goddamn it. Fuck all that other shit, all that other party people bullshit he on. Just that nigga's sound selection. R. Kelly is a fucking... If he really made that music, if he really made those beats, because I still, like, I'm suspicious. I'm still suspicious about the whole thing of R. Kelly because for levels and reasons. And I know niggas be having ghostwriters and shit when they rap, so... Could they uh, put a team of people behind someone who's not as adept... It's weird. It's, that's a weird thought. This is not a 3 a.m. stream. But what I'm saying is, whoever was part of that fucking sound selection thing, R. Kelly got it. And um, so I see a lot of that starting to creep in to our music again. And that's and that's, that's fucking A-OK -okay for me. So let's make one. Let's motherfucking break it down to the very last compound. How did I do this? I said I did it in Fruity Loops first. Cool. We'll do it like this. We'll do it in real time. Real time, so I show you, young boy, young girl, how to do this so fast, so bah. Actually, this is not very fast at all. I'm going to take the song in the example that I was talking about. It's called Burner Boy. It's called Last Last. I'm going to put it in mixed in key with the others. Ayo, Igbo. What did he say? He said, I need Igbo and Ayo. Uh, no, 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 because he says chai, chai, chayo, chayo. Chayo, basically, it's a double entendre. He's speaking in two languages at the same time. I'm not African, but because I'm an American with a pro background and motherfucking historical spiritual concepts, I realized what he was really doing is he split tongue. He is a whole Ifa song to Shango. I was like, oh my God, what in the motherfucking, what in the Orishas is going on? It's a fucking Orisha anthem. Now... It says it's 88 beats per minute, so that's like 160 plus 16, 176. Is he doing this off the cusp? Is he doing it off the top of the dome? Is he correct all? This is an Afrobeat song too, I'm assuming, right? Because they're African and everything. Sound like Craig David, but if Craig David had dreads, that's what it sounds like. 176. That's correct, right? 88, double, double that up, right? Got down. Well, 80, 80, 160, 8, 8, 16, 60, 60, 60, well, yeah, that's it. You want to bring that up in there? I don't know if this is going to be weird because it's the music video version, but whatever. Woo! Ooh! Whoa, whoa, that's all. This, this shit's hot. This, this song sounds like I made it. That's how, that's how hot it is. It's hot enough. It, I think it's hot because I think I made it. Like, this... Whoever, this, actually, the brother who did produce, I forgot your name, brother. I didn't mean to forget your name. Hold on. Let me not forget his name. One of our brothers posted, he made, he did a breakdown video of it. <sighs> Where was that conversation? Ah, you son of a, mm, we had it. We had it. We knew his name. It was here somewhere. It was a brother who produced this beat. He has his own breakdown of his beat. Y'all should check that out. If someone finds it, put it in the chat again or put it in the Discord again so he can get more plays on that video. 
Now, here's the thing. Because I knew I was going to do this, I never watched this video. I'm sorry, brother. I probably will learn how to do those fancy spancy percussion high error rolls that I'm not going to do in this video. But when I'm done with this video, I'm going to watch that video and share it to the group. Cool. When you make templates or if you line it up anything, even if, like, because this practice, technically, this is how you do remixes, too, right? Y'all have been watching me do remixes for the past month. So it's the same exact type of mentality. You want to get as much information about the track or your target. I call them targets as possible. I like lining everything to an even downbeat. And you can use guides and stuff. So I'm going to show you. I'll make a, a guide clip real quick just to guide me the fuck along. Um, this particular duration, we can make this duration probably two bars. So, or one bar, right? This is going to be a one bar clip. So when I zoom in on that, that's one bar. That's it. It don't go no further than that. So that's two bars because we got two bar clips. Four bars, eight bars. So this is an eight bar guide. That's an eight bar intro. I fucking, I'm like that Smurf that hates everything. I fucking hate eight bar intros. We're not going to do that. But this song did. Kind of. But I like it even like that. I don't want it to be motherfucking six bars, which is looking like seven. I ain't got time for that shit. So, allegedly, if the tempo is correct, according to Mixing Key, when you find that strong beat, that first strong, the first down kick of the damn verse, boom! It ain't supposed to go gong gong. It's supposed to go bow. So, you want to go ahead and enlarge that? We want to zoom in. That's <laughs> Messing with this toolbar, Fruity Loops, is a joke when you start zooming in like that. Anyway, you bring it back. Studio One, tap the transient. Pro Tools, tap the transient. will make this job so much easier, but Fruity Loops don't need all that. All right, then we start on the 17th. Oh, they gonna they gonna take this video down because this song is fire. I gotta let it rock. I gotta let this song play. I'm sorry, inner scope, outer scope. If you ain't watch this in real time, I'm sorry. This video is probably not gonna make it. I don't know how how aggressive is Africa? Because her best friends China are not very aggressive on copyrights, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> they said Bill Gates had to sell motherfucking Windows 7 in China for a dollar because Chinese people refused to buy Windows. Like, as a culture, it dropped the, the, it dropped the operating system price down to a dollar. Tell me capitalism ain't on your ass, boy. They charged us. What are they charging us for those Windows discs? 40 70 80 dollars? China, China come around and says, fuck you, piracy. They try to guilt trip us in America with dare commercials on the fucking Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade machine and shit. Y'all remember that? You used to go to arcade and it used to be like a little dare Nixon message. Like, them motherfuckers sold the most drugs ever. Whatever. Okay, so there's a lot going on here. He's coming in really fucking strong. In this case, I want to um, insert a marker. Why? You playing with my emotions, dog. It's option T, I think. It's option T. And we don't call that verse. He comes in straight out to the verse. You feel me? This long as this I don't know about this goddamn I don't know about this. Let me see something. Okay, that's him just talking being weird. So we're gonna do the four bar intro, which makes way more sense. But I gotta there we go. There we go. There we go. Don't worry about that extra space in the beginning. Like I said, you want this color coding thing that Fruity Loops does to stay consistent. You do not want to begin on an odd column or bar count and fuck up the color schema later on, especially when you're like this. Oh my God, that shit's annoying. But anyway, so here we go. Four bar intro. I could live with it. Now what I'm now what I'm counting now. Now I'm disregarding every fucking thing. Now I need to locate the musicality of it. Um, so it's a guitar loop from the Tony Braxton song, right? I need to listen to it for when it loops. It's going to do the thing. It's going to go through its chord progression, basically. I need to catch the, the progression when it starts over. That's how long the loop is. So when I go create the track myself, I'm going to look for guitar loop, R&B, pack, whatever the fuck. And I'm going to loop it for two bars if this says two bars. I'm going to loop it for four bars if it says four. I'm going to listen for variations. So, like, in a lot of the songs that I broke down in this pack, I noticed most of their variations was taking one sample and some people octave it up or play something else, the same thing, at octave up, and they'll do that to bring energy towards the hook or they'll do the same where they'll high pass it and low pass it a different way than the main sample naked or raw or uh, bypass. So they have, like, the bypass and filtered, bypass and filtered. Of course, I have a halftime version and then sometimes I have a double time version, which is kind of like... 
you take the long progression, if it's four bars, you shorten it down to two bars. But you have time that, so it sounds like it's moving slow, but it's going through the progression faster. It's very fucking trippy. I might do it my damn self, but still. You can, if you can, the more you can detect that, even if it, if it's something simple to you, like, oh, this motherfucking snare has a reverb. Like, if you can hear that, that's a clip. So you just make that clip says reverb clap, and you align that to the song when that happens. And what happens is, even if you don't get all 24, 32, 155 files that were actually used, when you create the bones like this, it's going to ring truer to you because those are the things that you identify. So you only want to identify what you know already, right? So like you just mapping out what you know that way is like a really cool exercise. Like even if you don't use it, just going through the exercise of doing this. I used to do this shit for fun, especially back in the day on the hip hop instrumentals. And our shit was 16 bars, right? So yeah, 16 fucking bars. You need a goddamn two bar loop to play eight times without getting boring. So you used to have to come up with like little strategies like, all right, I'm going to take the 16 bar situation and I'm going to break it into four parts. And I can kind of show you from a bird's eye what that looks like. So this is a four, this is a four, this is a four board joint right here. Bong, bong. Straight like that. Straight cheese, right? This is 16 when I double it up like this. So what I would have to do when I listen to like different people. So like when the hitmen for Diddy do something, they always have this cool little trick they do in the last two bars before the hook. Where they do like these different track mutes. And they like solo the snare or they'll solo everything but the drums and so boom i would know that one trick from him and i'd make sure on my fourth section that's what i do then i'll listen to somebody else like havoc from mob deep or alchemist and they do this funny shit with how they uh i don't know they'll do some funny shit too similar to that but somewhere else boom all right cool i won't do that on my four bar joint and then i'll listen to someone else and they like low pass the sample like pete rocking them just for the first four bars boom no fucking problem. I got it. And then I'll make up some shit that I like to do right here or whatever. But in order to understand that when it happens. So what's happening is important. But in music, when it's happening is way more important than what is happening. Like putting a random ass scratch or a tape stop or a turntable stop or a motherfucking uh, Drake filter in the middle of a verse is stupid as fuck. Now, it'd be cool creatively in the context of a song and an artist who can dance around that. That's how some of the breakthroughs come about. Anyway, people doing something, people doing the right thing at the wrong time and niggas just saying, fuck it. And then that becomes a thing. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about being intentional with this arranging shit and knowing when things happen and paying attention. Because you do enough of these, you don't say like, oh, shit, all these niggas went to the same school. Like Harry Potter went to Hogwarts and fucking Metro Boom in the South Side went to DeKalb County fucking beat arranging fair because I didn't get the memo. Anyway. Shout out to ATL Jacob too. But that's that. Four bars. What's up in the chat though? There's mad people in the chat. There's black people in the chat too. B-Boy says, MG, them templates are fire. Will definitely help me. I appreciate that. Frequency, fee, frequency says, I have to get this one. Hey, I appreciate you. Shogun says, I-D-G-A-F. R. Kelly is go good. <laughs> Thank you. Romeo says, what up, young boy? Ha! Hada. Hada back at you. <laughs> young boy. What do you know? You offended my family? <laughs> and I'm the Shogun here. All right, so we got to be like water. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're saying, Marky Facts. I, I looked it up. I got I got the mark. I got it. He said he needs his weed and his alcohol. There's a triple entendre. Don't ask me how. He got the Shio. He got the Shango. Because you know how you activate the Orishas, right? You, you, oh, I, I keep forgetting. I be talking about initiated stuff. With un, 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 uh, I be talking about initiated ideas, concepts, with an uninitiated wave of consciousness. And I'm not even initiated. And so how the fuck do I be knowing? But I do because I pay attention and listen. So, um, yeah, the alcohol and weed is apparent in the music video. But nah, that's not what that song is. <laughs> that song is more about, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, any great artist, any superstar artist, any artist that has a presence, and listen, we going into 3 a.m. Trust me, there's a spirit with them. Just, just, 
if you understand what I mean by that, like in the pocket of how you, you how you classify information, uh, how you compartmentalize spirituality, because you know spirituality is just the ality, the reality, the uality. Spirituality is just the <laughs> reality of spirits. It's how you communicate with spirits, right? Like, don't let that go over your head. Because mad people say dumb shit like, yo, I'm not religious, I'm spiritual. So you talk to spirits. Because if you're not talking to spirits or getting feedback from spirits or dealing with spirits, you're not spiritual. The fuck are you talking about? You just say you're atheist or agnostic. You're not, you're not spiritual if you're not dealing with spirits. So a lot of famous people, a lot of prominent people, a lot of what men of renown, powers of unknown, a lot of people that you see doing shit that normal people don't do, or it's like far and by wide, like certain skill sets or awarenesses that people have, typically because of a spirit. Now, that person may indeed be that spirit or be a part of that spirit. It may not be something, an entity that's separate. But they could be the same. A lot of, but what I know for a fact, a lot of our black artists with dreads or black artists with braids or black artists who are kind of like more rough around the edges, more aggressive into that drug dealing and that type of stuff. Most of them, if not all of them, channel Chango. Almost all of them channel Chango. Um, Basquiat channeled Drew Chango. Jay-Z's channeling Chango. Him and his wife, Cuba, New Orleans, you know the whole thing. Chango, right? Ch Chango, oh yeah, you know, or, or Chango and uh, uh, Oshun. So, on the surface level, you just see niggas doing cool nigga shit. Traveling. This. You know, and they drop a few bars, you know. I'm feeding my children liquor gold. We in a whole different mold. You know, and I told my wife the spiritual shit really works. Like, if you're not paying attention, paying attention, you would think that's all they're, they're talking surface. But if you peel behind the surface or you become more aware and you become more initiated to how people talk with a split tongue or they say one thing, but because you're not initiated, you're not on that frequency, it sounds like something else. And that's how the high, like, high, hieroglyphs are written the same way. So I guess that's just in our people to be that way. And I think that's why it confuses outside cultures too, how we, uh, how we manipulate words better than most. Makes you wonder uh, who wrote that Bible. But anyway, um, I say all that to say Chango. Chango is the big one. Chango is the big one when it comes to that. The themes that have been present in our music over the past couple of years has been Chango. Um, I will probably say <laughs> a close second is Ogun, because Ogun is the the god of a uh, gun gun talk. <sighs> so if there's gun violence, if there's drilling involved, that's probably a very strong Ogun energy. Now, there's female counterparts, too, I think, because uh, I think a lot of them are channeling the female version. <laughs> I don't even think they're channeling Ogun. I think in their channeling his female counterpart because of how a lot of these things are executed publicly. But anyway, just just your daily, just your daily things ain't always as they seem. Lesson 3 a.m. snippet brought to us by MGFuture.com, where you can get Arrangement Artillery Volume 1 today. Link in the description of this video. Shout out to Jeremy Burt, P.O.T.Y., Illinois, Romeo, Illinois, Roderick, Caliber, D. Bennett, RTP. Illinois is in the building. Pacheca. Bong. RTP. I see a bong. King Lumwell. Bong, bong. E.J. and Coin Flip. I see a bong. Mr. Morpheus. Bong, bong, bong. <laughs> Mr. Morpheus says this is a theology page. There are spirits. Nigga, I'm a walking, talking, anomalous, spiritual guru. And you ask me if this is a spiritual theology page. If you don't get your ass off my channel, you clicked on an arrangement video and you looked at a black man in a do-rag fasting like a motherfucking turban and you're surprised that the nigga is spiritual. I'm a musician. How the fuck can I be a musician without being spiritual? Do y'all even think anymore? Answered my own question. What's good, David Treasure? What's good, Cash Brown? This is why I love these type of lives, merging two important topics with some not knowing that they're all the same thing. Come on now. Come on, baby. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. It's all connected anyway. Y'all think it's something different. It's all it's all one thing. This universe is one song, baby. The guitar sample progression is only uh, two bars. So that's, that's expected. Most trap rap is two bar samples, right? But her vocal, is, or the acapella that he uses is over four. So fuck us, right? So that's the length of the guitar sample, pause. We double it up. 
and then we do vocal sample one because I think he got multiple vocal samples, right? So Vox sample A, let's call it that. And she kind of starts, she actually starts halfway in. She starts like right here. If you want to be a real stickler about the bullshit type of uh, overlay. I get it. That's real cute. That's real cute and clamorous. You see the T-shape forming, whatever. All right, so I'm ignoring his voice. The only time I'm listening to his voice to see what part of the song he thinks he's doing. He thinks he's doing the goddamn intro with all those damn ad-libs. That is a vamp section, sir. You save that for the end. But that's not me executive producing this song for free. All right, so bomb. My placeholders represent four bars. That's all I need to know. That's it. It don't go no further than that. I just need to see that that's four bars. So it's a two bar sample. Bomb. Easy money. Now, this is the part where the copyright people be like, oh shit, can we tag it? Fuck it. Let's rock, nigga. I know the guitar sample plays through this whole bitch. I'm just gonna keep listening because this kid adds like orcs and arps and shit, like on some MG the Future shit. So watch. We're gonna see when that stops and becomes something else. Yeah. We had Dancer and Donner and Prancer and Vincent. Uh huh. Okay. I mean, that's it. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing to write home to mama about, but you got now you have, now you fucking have it. Now you can make excellent Afrobeat arrangements with Michael Jackson, Rodney Darkchild Flair. Why not? Why the fuck not? Shit. I might as well save it to my damn self. You feel me? MG. I'm going to call it Shango template. Y'all ain't got to like that, but I'm telling you, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Chango. And if you're going to use Chango energy, that's Jupiter. That's Thursday. That's the color red. How do I know that? It's Pata, dog. Like, whatever, 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 whatever. Hermes. I just killed a Hermes store. Somebody save me. Hermes, Pata, Jupiter, Chongo! Showing up in multiple ways. All right, so now we got the whole song. Okay, 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 okay. How do you use this young boy? Now, I'm gonna do the same kind of beat, kinda. Maybe, if I could find that rim shot, it'd be even better. I'm gonna try to do a similar beat. So instead of using, so what we need to do, on some not being cute and clamorous shit, for real, for real, for real, for real, for real, for real, for real. Let's go ahead and color code this. God damn, there's a lot of sounds. I'm letting my, he said, I've been losing my, he said, I've been losing my marbles, letting the AR go. What? What did he say? He was losing his marbles, letting the AR go? Like, what? He should have said he was hanging out with the trailer parks at back in Fargo. Here we go. That gonna work for me? That This color code could work for me. These look like some Nike ID sneaker colorway. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, yeah, by golly, don't you know? Yeah? Why are all my guitar vocals offset? Son of a bitch. It's not even worth the headache of fixing it. It's not even, I'm not even, I'm not even gonna look at that. I'm not even fucking around. So I need a, a metronome too, if you're not listening to a track. <laughs> So, yeah, that's that's as far as it goes. Drums, please. These are my drums. That is my main focus. I could probably turn this back on in here. Does Trap Next Door or any of my kids have that? I have an Afrobeat folder, but it didn't have that rim shot. That sounded like some shit that was in BWB. Big White Beats the Wave Kit Volume 7 when he had a whole bunch of rim shots. It was an ungodly amount of rim shots. I didn't want to use them. I don't know. I actually need to pick sounds based on the sample. I'm just going to use these as placeholders then. Oh, 
Bow for the result. Bow for the result. Bow for the result. Do nothing to bow for the result. Do nothing to discuss. Do cause I think we bow for the result. Do nothing to discuss. Do cause I think we need by. to discuss cause I think we need by default and bow for the result that's not that's not the cadence at all why is it misaligned how are we misaligned we're on the same downbeat bow for the result though bow for the result bow for the result though it's not in the same pocket how yeah I want to do it like that what am I confused about? What the fuck? Nah, that snare is right in between. I bow for the result. 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 Nigga, why would it go there? Bow for the result. Bow for the result. Nothing to discuss. That's funny as hell. Bow for the result. Nothing to discuss. Cause I think we need. We gonna be WB the wave, cause that's what my spirit told me he used. Yes, yes, yes. It's the wave six. I know it's in there. Did I don't know six or seven. This is which one had all the rim shots. This one. Yeah. Yes. Now I need to find that one. Bow for the result, though. Nothing to this. It's like it's like it's like that, but in a different pitch, right? And the kick is vicious too. Bow for the result, though. It's uh, it's low pass. It's like this. Bow for. I need way better rim shots. I need the elite rim shot. Whoa. His hi hats make sense too if he's using this kit. I need a different tone for the kick. I need a kick that's like, like that. Thank you. Shango, you know what I'm saying? Like you need it. It needs to. It has to hit like that. It cannot not hit. And then he had all that crazy shit going on with the hi hats. I'm not a fan, but this particular kit has all the. So you know what I'm saying, niggas be fronting. You just you don't even know where it go. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna run them together. I don't fucking care. I need the the snare, the rim shot. I'm sorry. I need the rim shot to cut all of these pitches. Thank you. Just real quick. Let me just run through this real quick. It ain't, you know what I'm saying? Just hold on, hold on. I'll show you what my idea was and see if I can pull that shit off. I don't even know if my sample is going to work for this style of music, but the bitch, if I don't try. Then I'm gonna fuck him up. I'm gonna fuck him up with goddamn uh, trap, Trapanese Volume Five, which is available on my website. We're gonna use my goddamn hi hat, hi hat patterns. I ain't playing with these boys. Then I'm gonna go back to my Afrobeat kit and pull in the percussions, and we're out of here. It's fucking legendary style, huh? Maybe. That's crazy. 
I might as well. I might as well. It's, it'll work, but that hi-hat has to actually move with my guitars. It's a whole nother story for a whole nother day. So I gotta bring my guitar in. I'll show you what my guitar is in one fucking second. It's the same fucking idea, but better. It's the same idea, but a better one. Watch. Can I hit him with the El Reggaeton? Billy Batson, I see you, brother. I need my polo snare. Maybe. Ain't gonna, ain't gonna, it's not gonna let me be that great. Why do I want that kick harder than that? Pause. I'll go back to my Afrobeat kit real quick. Afrobeat, you got a kick I can lay on? Yes, I do. Copy, paste it. That would be nice. Don't don't write to your mom about it though. Once you once your drums feel right, like once that type of once you get your pocket and you feel it, like once this once you start feeling it, you get you know you got it. Like it don't matter what sample we put here now. We can put the little rascals on this bitch and it's gonna be a fire now. Now it's now it's in fire territory. Now it's like at first I was like, oh you know, I gotta tap into my African ancestor, because I probably have one. But if I did have an African ancestor, what would she be doing right now? And I'd be like, yo. That's just nuts, dog. Okay. That's all I. That's all I fucking needed, bro. All right. So now we need a sample. We need a guitar sample. <laughs> he said he need old English and mids. Speaking of mids. Don't mind me. I'm a little not high right now. I lie I got a melodyne to shit too. 
so I can have my own arpeggiator to the shit I be doing. <laughs> God damn it, where's this folder? Holy shit, dog. Tell me it's in this, because if it's not fucking in here, bro, what am I doing? I'm prob I probably have it in motherfucking uh the King Crate, the damn uh the crate chop volume two probably has it. And I'm just overthinking this, but that's okay. Oh, I don't have that song. Are you fucking nuts, dog? How do I not how do I not have that one saved? Bullshit. Bullshit. I know I have that. That's 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 a whole lot of cap. That's a whole lot of cap. That's a whole lot of bullshit. Why the best of me, Jada, YouTube nigga? Just give me this. Give me this goddamn video. Yeah, you're doing too much. Give me that copy. Give me that mmm paste. Gracias. There we go. Bongo. Let me jump in here real quick. Give me that Edison on deck. Thank you. Close that. Gracias. Give me that real quick. Let me run that back real quick. Thank you. Let me zoom in on this perfect guitar sample for this bullshit. Nah, yeah. I got I it. Why did they stop it like that? I don't want to get the best of you. <laughs> That's two different chords. Yo, yo. <laughs> we don't have to, we don't have to finagle this. <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> yo. Bitch, if you don't stop following, I swear for God, bro. Hey yo, when Archangel Gabriel is this dumb shit? Why did they turn follow on by default? It's the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. There's no fucking reason. There's not a job in America that requires you to follow this shit at that speed. Like you can even do nothing if you could follow it. What the fuck forensic scanning bullshit type of art niggas think I'm doing? Okay, so I'm gonna take this out. Don't you fucking freeze, bitch. You can definitely do this. Don't even. Don't start your shit. All right. These loops have to be perfect because I'm working around the fuckery. So that's guitar A. I missed it because of that bullshit. Know how like Tony Braxton's at the end of his uh the Tony Braxton's at the end of his loop point so he's gonna be at the end of some of my loop points but not all of them so I gotta make sure I catch the beginning beginning his part to replace and then the second part which were the alternative chords and that's pretty much it. it's a freestyle from there uh, yo. so from the top yo, yo. <laughs> I could have sworn me and Maya were getting married. When that song came out, I was like, yeah, that's that's my hip hop honey. That's that's who I'm taking a date on when I sell my first. No, I gotta buy my Cork Triton first. And then I'm taking Maya on a date. That's how I saw it in my head. You think it happened that way? You think fucking life did that for me? Of course not. Who the fuck do I think I am? Now I gotta figure out how to make them all a part one. Fuck. Okay. Um. Metronome and shit. All right. So we don't have to time these shits. That's it. That's it. That's it. It ain't nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing. I really, I really do this. I really do this. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> Uh, 
you know the crazy shit about life is though this beat is the same tempo like it's not even off like it's barely off it's damn near the same song dog <laughs> to change the see this is a job for ableton live for real like is this is this is ableton live's territory for real when you got a micro dose the goddamn uh transients and shit uh that's really a micro <laughs> <laughs> Feel me? You got an A, you got a goddamn B. You got an A and a C. It doesn't know it's a B and a C. Because this one's the beginning, right? This is the first part. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Give me give me that. Hey, give me that. these damn pieces going through my mind that boy nice i know i know i know i know just don't write home to mom about it just let me be it's like that boy's nice we keep it going i think then I gotta somehow lock it down like this. So I'm gonna take all of that bullshit and I'm just gonna record it. Just fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Just record it. Really? Really just record it. That's all I need to do. Because I'm not about to time stretch the bitch. No. You're gonna get all this. Stop fucking with me. Why would you start in the middle of the song, you goofy bitch? I know for facts. I fucking muted that track. Why do I hear it? I fucking muted it. I shouldn't fucking hear a goddamn thing. So, new gentlemen's new verses, please. Give me the whole phrase. Then we'll move it around. Then we'll move it around. You can't. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. You can't console me right now. You can't. You can't. You can't console me right now. There's nothing we can talk about. That's it. That's it. Can I make it work with the drums though? I got so many tricks. I got so many tricks. It's mainly they're mainly emphasizing the guitar, right? I'm a little I'm a little iffy about the shit. Cause it's not the right cadence. I need to change the cadence, but let me get the tone first. <laughs> Daydream glitch. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's the hezzy. That's the hezzy. The hezzy's on that second down beat. I hear you, bitch. I hear it. The rest of it's perfect. So I'm gonna focus in just on the bullshit. Right there. That's weird that that fucks it up. I don't know if I want to do this. Micro chopping fuckery. You fucked it up somehow. I don't know how you fucked it up. But that's what my soul is saying. This fucked it up right here. No, whoa, yeah. No, 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 no. It's gotta be like that.
fucking guitar, bro. And Fruity Loop Zoom is ass, so I can't microdose this bitch if I wanted to. It's off ever so fucking slightly. I just want it just, just a little off the goddamn. Bang bang. It's just when it comes up off that, off that, off that swing. second half. school the up north school of beat making tricks and tips on the waveform because when you had 16 bars you had to micro chop your samples damn bitch oh man this sucks Yo, 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 my, my. 
man thing. tighter than that pause. that sample pause 
Okay. Fuck it. Go A B the bass like he did. Yeah, B and B got down. It don't matter. I I yo. Mm-hmm. Watch it, watch it. I gotta focus on the bass line. myself like this we you getting this goddamn where's my profit at? give me my goddamn favorite bases i ain't playing with you hoes that's it we ain't gotta fuck around and find out give me my goddamn skill give me my i'm not changing i was gonna change the pitch of that but i was like mm -hmm. we still gotta clear the sample so what's the point of Changing the pitch. Is that a lazy loop bitch why does that loop around so fucking weird bro oh this is annoying as fuck that's because the beats is different god damn it you I have to fix the beats to be not so fucking different. My eye, oh, God damn you. God damn, brother. I, I, oh, I, I, oh. You know, whatever he was saying, I feel his pain. Because, God damn, this. That shit was fire the way it was.
It was fire the way it was before I met you. That's perfect. Why are you bugging? The downbeat is perfect. Why isn't it not rounding the downbeat? Is it this? It is. That last bass note is a no-go. Why? Whatever. Anyway, I'm tired of your shit. Give me my goddamn halftime, bitch. You're not playing with me. You're not you're not doing this today. Mama wasn't it, but your dad found her and you're here, so let's just let things take its time. Let things take its time. when niggas come to my fucking stream act like I don't fucking know how to work with samples like I don't know how to pick dope samples are you fucking kidding me if you don't get your ass on somewhere talking about this ain't right the fuck nigga how long have I been nigga I've, I've streamed more videos on YouTube than you've made beats don't start with me today
I'm just building it around in my head real quick. So I need our prayer chair, our prayer chair, and then we, then we, and then and then we and then we bust it down to the arrangement. Right now I'm not in the arrangement. Right now I'm just in my head. Like how do I big balls? I guess that's how you do it. So I'm just. Give me fucking everything. Something like this, I think. I think it has to go this way. Yes, I think that's how it. Ah, you bitch! Give me this. That's okay, that's okay, that's not a, it's not a race. It's a goddamn arms race. It's not a party, this is an arms race. Give me a pad. Run me that. Pafavoro. Whore. Yo, so Fruity Loops could crash and stop the program, right? It crashed, it says we can't do nothing. But it can't, so it could freeze you and stop you and click around, but you can't save it. It's like, yeah, we could stop this session right fucking here, bro. Your audio driver says go fuck yourself because we have bad juju in the chat. But it doesn't say, hmm, but let me do you a solid real quick. Now that I've stopped you from moving your mouse around, and the program is still open, and the vector is still drawn, and the file menu is still accessible, we're just not going to fucking respond to you. You could close this if you want to. Oh, fuck you, right? Like, you gotta be more, you gotta be more reasonable than that, Free Loops. It's okay. It wanted me to use a better ARP. That's all it was. Jay Diggity said, bro, taste the turkey at Thanksgiving, halfway done, talking about nah, grandma. Oh, no, I wasn't really. Turned up eats is funny. He just gave me a reason to address the Joe spirit that normally happens on product launches. You already know the fucking vibes. There's always a Joe spirit, and I appreciate the Joe spirits. Usually when more Joe spirits start to manifest, I end up like doing some really cool shit down the pipeline. So that means I can kind of tell what season it is based on the type of Joe spirit that manifests. So that Joe spirit, he, you know, he wanted some attention. He wanted us to check his beats out. I get it. Like, come into the chat hot. 
cause the division, cause the attention to go on yourself and whatever. Someone to play your beats on the stream. Oh my God, mom, I made it. You know, I get the strategy. But he was saying that's not it. And I was like, his mom's not it. Yet his dad still chose her because we have him here today. So like, it doesn't matter if it's it or not. Look at all the people on this planet. There's a lot of not it. There's a lot of mothers that are not it yet. They have the most children. How does that work? We don't know. Chango. Yeah, there's an auto backup in FL, but the timing and all that bullshit, you know how, you know how that shit go. At least it saved that when I fixed that shit. Oh my god, that would have been that would that have been ass. Oh no, got a little game that she plays. Hey, where's the contact? Got a little thing in a hot girl style. <laughs> she likes to brag about the dough that she made. Better than a castle. Lately, she's checking for me. Ah, for real. <laughs> For real, for real. <laughs> they social your story. Talking about how she wants to be. He's the one to replace. The one who waits at home for me. Oh no, I, I cannot. That is not. Don't you think?
trick. There we go. We getting close. Like that. Real simple. Let's take it off beat too. So if that bitch got a swing. Here she go. Here she go. I can't be consoled. He can't tell me nothing. Orchestra arp that's gonna crash through the loops. I don't fucking think so. It's not your turn to go. It's not your turn to go, Fruity Loops. It's not your turn to go out the roster, bitch.
it don't go no further than that. You ain't gotta worry about that, but. Now we gotta make sure this shit crack. Boy, nigga. All these high hat rolls, bro. Damn it, mixer shrink, bitch. Like whatever Tony was talking about. We're gonna call this one Big Kick. Pause, nigga. Let's do it. Certain things that the big kick can do that little kicks can do. And that's like side chain. <laughs> Stop the presses. You feel me though, goddamn. What time is it? Shit, I gotta. I ain't gotta go, but I gotta go. You know how that go? I don't gotta go, but I gotta go. Does that make sense? All right. Okay, it might not. Don't worry. Don't write home to mom about it. It's, it's cool. It's cool. Save for the one time. Thank you so much, Christopher Walker. You, I was heading into dangerous territory trying to mix a goddamn unsaved beat. All right. Here we go. We're in the J Dilla. Pretend like that's the loudest it goes. There we go. Okay. I turned my headphones up. I'm sorry, guys. God particles won't fix it, but I gotta make sure this is right.
fuck me, right? Like, just fuck me, I guess. What the hell, bro? I was so close, yet I'm so far away. Explain the science. See, his, his drums don't change, so I may not have to bust down my drums at all. So I'm going to try to zero focus in on that bullshit. Hold up real quick, dog. Hold on, dog. We got color coders. We got to make sure my colors are coordinated. That's a sample. Sample for you, young boy. And then we're going to bust this down. Bust it. Break it. Stop. Format it. All right. All right. All right. All right. Random. Random color. May I check it out? So my focus would be place the guitar sample where the guitar sample goes. So we're gonna move it, move your stuff to the verse. Uh, the drums come in here. Uh, we'll move your stuff to the verse. Yes, sir. We'll take your half of the prize and move your ass to the intro. No one's gonna mind. Oh God, here we go with the fuckery. Bring it on back. Bring it on back. Bring it back, me. Bring it back. Sing it back. Something like this. Oh, straight like that. That's it. I ain't even gotta worry about it. drums, please. That's it. That's it. Then we can focus on the hook. Intro. Deuces. Alright, right here, right here, right there, right there, right there, right there. We need an extra bass line, don't we? We need an extra bass line just to keep up with the kids. Alright, 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 alright. He does some weird shit in this beat, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm gonna put the lead where the lead go, the lead bone go to the hip bone, or some shit like that. And. The dun 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 dun. Where the fuck, what is that even called? Do I have a name for that dumb shit that happens? Mm. We'll, we'll pretend like it's arpeggio. It's not a fucking arpeggio. And that's the arpeggio. And the pad I added because I'm gangster, you know, it is, it, it didn't need a pad, but I put it there. I don't know. It's subtle enough to make a fucking difference. And the drums, those hi-hats. I don't
don't know. I I go. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what he was saying. I know what he was saying. Fucking. I look like Gerald, do you? I look like a kid, like my mom would look me in my beautiful face and say, yo, let's name this nigga Gerald. Nope, my mom loved me. So now I'm just following part for part. Part for parts. Parts for parts I'm following. You feel me? You don't even see it. You don't see the vision. It's vision. You don't even see the vision. You know what I'm saying? So bring this down. You feel me, goddamn? See, see, now we working through, we working through the dramas. We, we're doing our inner work right now. I know what I'm doing. Stop the drums on that. Why are we stopping drums for? It sounded good though. Nice. I'll take you to other planets you ain't been to before. Shout it. I'm lying, I'm capping, I'm rapping, I yeah. Yep. That's how that go. Now, now, goddamn, bring it back. This the hook. So my hats can stay if they want to. I ain't gonna hold you. So it does that little tricky low pass filter shit too, which is my least favorite thing about this. But I'm gonna do it just so that you can see brother got range. No range, no change. B-Boy wants to know, does God Particle replace Ozone? No. Uh, think of uh, think of um, God Particle as OTT and Sound Goodizer had a baby. It's just to make your mixes loud. If you're mixing, you probably don't need mastering as much as you need loudness as you think. So God Particle replaces L2, but it has an enhancer. It's a harmonic enhancer, a parallel staging. It's a whole bunch of shit going on. But just, I think of it as, I want my shit to sound loud. God Particle. That's it. It don't, it don't go no further than that. Plus the parallel multiband EQ. Whatever. Uh, I had a purpose here. Low filter. Watch this dumb shit. This is going to be cool. My I.O. And we need to automate this bullshit. Nah, bitch. Create the automation clip. Uh, My least favorite thing. I gotta draw a low pass filter. I gotta draw a low pass filter. Hey. Well, this is not gonna bode well. 
with the rest of this track. We'll see tonight. I gotta keep drawing curves and shit. This is gonna be a bitch. Bring it back. Low pass right there, young boy. It says low pass right here, young boy, if you see that right here. This is ridiculous as goddamn verse two this man did. Ridiculous. It's fucking nuts. This is motherfucking Rocky and Bullwinkle for real. We got guitars at least. Shit, how do I grab this without grabbing this? I, I, oh. There we go. The arp stayed and the pluck stayed. There's a little game that she plays. Some, 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 some. This one has the full chop, I think. I think this is the full chop, my friends. I think this is full chop for you, young boy. Extra eight ball for your verse, young boy. So far, so far, young boy. I don't know, these motherfucking, um, these motherfucking low passes are egregious. Nah, we ain't low passing all that shit, nigga. Fuck out of here, bro. I low pass the fuck I want to low pass. I guess. That. That's delicious. And 
the lead goes down like randomly for no fucking reason. That fucking random ass lead goes down for no goddamn reason. Select it and go down, bitch. Is this a pre chorus and hook ending? Fuck that. Give me, give me the homework I already did. Give me the homework that I already did. Not doing that again. <laughs> Bitch, you thought. Bitch, you thought I was. Like that. I forgot it had a waspinator sound. Hold on. Hello? What's up with you? Already? Oh shit! It's three o'clock. I forgot. The time is flying. It's like the universe knows some. My ass got things to do. Jesus Lord. Um, can I call you back and like give me? 10 minutes tops. All right, love you. Easy money. All right. So we got the whole goddamn thing. We got the whole goddamn thing finished. Bada. All righty. Let's see. Let's see. Bring it back. Bring it back. All right. So we got, oh my God, this is a mess. My man said, the call. Yo. Is huh? It is the call, man. It is that's definitely the call. If there was to be the call, that'd be the call. But it's not the call. I got a few more hours left before the call is the call. But she just, you know, she makes sure I'm on target. I never had anyone do that before, though. That's is life is always doing some new shit. Life will always surprise you with some new shit, dog. As soon as you think you got used to the fuckery. Life says, nah, fam, you ain't even. I realize <laughs> I haven't even started playing the game yet. I wasn't even nowhere close to what I thought things were. Very bizarre um, revelations, if you will. So this is my version of the track. Much cleaner, much simpler, of course, but goddammit, you can appreciate it. We're going to start from the goddamn tippy of this cool little thugged out Afrobeat idea that I, I freestyled off the top of my sleeping dome. I didn't even think too hard about this. I just did it. I said, yo, I know a song with guitars. Black people had guitars all the time in 2003. And th that's how we did it. That's how we're going to do it right now.
that's the one. You know what I'm talking about, goddamn? That's how you do that, bro. That's it. It don't go no further than that. That's how you use an arrangement template to arrange your templates. You know what I'm talking about? Like, that's it. That's it. You make a nice little tune dedicated to Shango while you're at it and just, you know, it goes up on a Thursday. But, um, we're going to say that MP3 real quick. We're going to say that MP3. What else? 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 Latest streams? In the streams, what I'm going to do is give my Fruity Loop people, sorry everybody else, I ain't got time for that shit. Everybody gets to try the Chongo template if you have Fruity Loops. It's in the Discord under streams and tutorials. You can download that FLP for free. We're not going to charge you for that. I'll upload the MP3 as well because I know some of you be write, writing hooks and stuff to these beats, which is kind of strange. But I'll get used to it. Y'all got any questions though, for real, for real? Don't forget this video is brought to you by Arrangement Artillery Volume 1. There's 12, and I repeat, 12 other arrangements that you can follow along in your production and career. This is compatible with FL Studio, Ableton Live, and Studio One 5.5 or higher. Check that shit out. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Over today at mgthefuture.com, where we're making your dreams a lot easier to pursue. All right. This might save one day. This might save one day and we might be done. But if y'all ain't got no questions, I'm going to go. I literally have to go, go. Like I said, I'm going to be AFK for... It don't matter how long I'm going to be AFK. I'm going to be AFK. I have my phone, though. If you got my number, you can hit my jack. Oh, my God. Hey, whoa. Where did that energy come from? Whoa. Rashane says, no questions. This was dope. Hey, I appreciate that. Yeah, but yeah, that's how you that's how you use the arrangement stuff. Cause like, even when you're starting to be from scratch and you see the arrangement, just knowing that your loop is two bars and your bass, like, just knowing the duration of stuff will help you tremendously. It like, it's 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 fucking automatic. It's automatic. Once you get into the groove, <laughs> once you get into the groove of your templates, <laughs> you'll just be making beats in minutes, literally. I've been bullshitting on using these and making these. I don't know the whole time I've been on YouTube. I know this was the way, but I just couldn't pick a doll to make them in. And I was like, ah, oh, I'm going to use Reason. Oh, I think I'm going to use fucking Harrison Mix. Bus. Oh, uh, UAD Luna. Oh, ooh. Machine of Pro Tools, Logic Pipeline. Like, I had all these ideas for all these templates I should have made. Lord forbid all the damn drum groups I was supposed to put together. Now that I know how to tone match. Like, Jesus Christ. I, if I could get my drum kits put together, like, uh, you know, the arrangement of drums that I use across genres and styles and have all my arrangement templates and have all my sample folders kind of, you know, more sorted better, kind of, sort of, so I can sign in them to shit better. Oh, my God. I'd make beats every day. But I already do. So do I need all that efficiency? That is up to you. That is, do you need to be that fucking efficient? If you do, Chango. You feel me? That's it. Check that out. That's it. got that afro beat volume one is using this too don't you sleep on it god damn it you go to this mgthefuture.com and you can get the afro beat percussions too that i use i hard pan left right and center right here god damn it it's the one that looks like a mini disc afro beat volume one is available god damn fucking all of everything really travanese volume five that's brand new fresh off the presses and then they got arrangement artilleries out here bro Let's go. Look at those graphics. Who's designing them? I am. Let's go. Yeah, I'm done though. That's it. I'm out here, bro. I'm out here. Come on now. Last month we were doing drill. Now we're doing Afrobeat. What's fucking next?
and a piano? We don't know. I need the drum kit for that. But yeah, man, thank you guys for your support as always. Thank you for showing up, showing out, liking, commenting, subscribing to the videos, all that stuff. I don't know what's up with the Russian bots on this stream, but fuck it. I owe you guys a 3 a.m. stream sometime this week. Depending on my physical arrangements, I may just jump on the cell phone and do a 3 a.m. on some real nigga shit. Hopefully some UFOs pop up. You know the deal. It's MG the Future. Thank you again. Appreciate you.